Hey there, everyone. It's Denise Salcedo. Welcome back to the channel. My guest for today is making his long-awaited return to MMA. One championship's very own Super Sage Northcutt. Uh, dude, what's up? What's up, Denise? Hey, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to talk to you because you have had this like uh, journey in MMA that I feel is just kind of like, I can't wait to like dive into, just talk about everything that you've been to and this return uh, that you're going to be making that it's, I can only imagine how you're feeling. So I kind of want to start there. May 5th, you're coming back after a four year layoff and you know, you're going to be in this big fight. How do you feel about coming back after four years? I know it's been a long time. It's crazy. Four years. That sounds like so long. I, so it hasn't been so much of a layoff because I've been staying consistent with my training. And obviously I know my first fight was one, uh, was like four years ago. It didn't go as planned, but, um, I did have another fight scheduled and like things just fell through because of timing and catching COVID. But you know, first fight back, I'm super excited. I couldn't be more excited too because it's in the US and Colorado. So very pumped. Man, I can feel it. I can feel your energy. Like I can tell you're really excited. Uh, I do want to talk about though, you know, uh, the fact that because you were away for those four years and I know you mentioned like there was things that, you know, obviously, you know, you, you, all the things that you just mentioned right now. But with that being said, though, I do want to talk about, you know, your injury that you uh, essentially had that you did kind of, you know, start keeping you away and having to deal with all of this. So um, kind of talk, talk us through, you know, what your experience and what your journey was like um, following that knockout and just like what, how you had to overcome all of that. Yeah. You know, so I obviously I had an off night it happens with some people sometimes and, uh, you look at, you look at the, the injury, you look at some of the best fighters in the world, world champions, uh, look at Conor McGregor, you look at Anderson Silva, you look at Habib, you look at different fighters, and a lot of fighters have had injuries, whether they're in the cage fighting or they're in training, but injuries that set them back. So obviously I had my injury and uh, it's just part of the sport, it's part of uh, mixed martial arts, but you know, I'm all healed up, I'm all good to go. It did take a little bit of time to, to get healed up from that. And that, that I got to say, that was a little bit annoying because I like to be active and I wanted to fight sooner than later. But I'm back now, May 5th, Amazon Prime videos where you can watch it. Super, super excited. So let's talk about that, too, because, you know, you're finally you're making your return. You're very excited. Uh, you know, when that when the moment finally came and you're like, OK, the match has been set. This is happening. The fight's happening for you. Like, what was your like instant like reaction? How did you feel about that? I, I felt so excited for it because, you know, my fight that I had set for one championship coming back before this was all the way out in Singapore. And that's super cool. But for the U.S. fans getting to tune in, fam getting to tune in, it's, it's in the middle of the night. So getting to fight in the U.S. is just, I'm, I'm super happy about that because not only is it one championship's first U.S. card, but I have a whole U.S. fan base that's going to get to tune in, whether they're at the event. I know a lot of friends and family are going to the event, but also getting to tune in on Amazon Prime Video is just like so convenient. How different do you feel now as a fighter, as a competitor to where you were at before? Like how, how different are you like mentally, physically? What do you think your fans, like, especially, you know, you're talking about right now, your U.S. fans, what do you think they can expect from you, uh, you know, seeing back, seeing you back out there in action? So I think there's a lot of stuff that I haven't gotten to show. And, you know, I've been working super hard. I'm looking forward to uh, hopefully showing all the hard work that I've been training, getting to uh, make one championship happy with my performance and put on a great show for everybody watching. So I think definitely an exciting fight. I always try to put on exciting fights and looking at things that have changed. Um, I did get a little bit older, obviously, cause it's been just about four years now. So, um, definitely, definitely something that's interesting because even though I'm still so young, I'm just now 27, I'm still developing what they call man strength and everything. So uh, <laughs> I've heard people tell me, some of the best people, the champions of, of mixed martial arts told me, man, Sage, you don't even get your man strength. And you don't even get like your true, like your true prime until you're 33, 34, 35 years old. So I still have so much time until then. It's crazy. 
Yeah. And it's, it's, it's interesting that you say that because one of the things that I was going to ask you about was, you know, when you were back in UFC and, you know, you were like 19 years old and usually, you know, guys at that age are like, you know, working smaller shows, but you were out there, you know, dominating grown men. So it's like, you're talking about like not yet having this man strength, but at the same time, it's like, dang, you know, you, 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 because, you know, you started so young and you were already at a certain level at a certain age, it's kind of nuts. So I do want to ask you about that, you know, Talk to us about the, I guess you can say the pros, the cons, the the impact that, you know, being in UFC at such a young age, uh, you know, how that impacted your career. I got to say, being in the UFC at a super young age, coming in at 19 years old is just, it was definitely an experience, super fun for me. So I, I, I love that. If I could change something about it, I would have gone and trained at a, uh, professional fight gym sooner. So if I could have, I would have gone to Uriah Faber's gym sooner, tried to pick up my skills and learn as much as I could faster. But like when, looking back when I was 19, I was trying to juggle fighting for the UFC and starting to be an engineer at the same time. So it was going hand in hand, trying to do both. And obviously either one alone is a lot of, a lot of work. So um, shortly after that, I took my time off from school and was like, you know, I can always go back to school later. So that's something I'm going to put on hold. I'm going to put all my focus and time into fighting. And, and uh, if I could have made a change, I would have done that sooner. Did you ever go back? So did you go back to school? Like, did you finish that all? Or, is that, or did that you just stop with that? You know, I've been chasing my dream. <laughs> I've been having, <laughs> having a good time fighting professionally. So, but definitely, definitely something I could do is go back and finish my degree as a petroleum engineer and do that in the future if I wanted Man, that's really, really cool. And now, you know, I do want to touch on the fact that it, I'm curious because like I mentioned, I think a lot of people are going to be watching and thinking like, hmm, you know, what's he going to be like? Is he different? You know, is he is he still the same guy that we used to see before? Uh, so do you ha feel any pressure or like any doubts or any sort of anxiety heading back into heading back into the cage? Well, every single one of my fights, you always get the butterflies. So like, especially the time of the event, the day of the event, you're like, okay, I can feel like the adrenaline. I feel the butterflies. Like, I just want to get out there and just perform. So I definitely expect that. Um, pressure though, from the outside sources, you know, I would love to make one championship happy with who they sign. Uh, I've had a great career looking back at the UFC. I was six wins and two losses. So six and two in the UFC. My last three fights in the UFC, I was on a three fight win streak. My last fight was by knockout, moving up a weight class. So I think uh, uh, I've been successful at a very young age, uh, fighting professionally and with the previous organization, UFC that I was with. And I think with one championship, I would like to do the same thing. So pressure wise, I'm trying to let the pressure get to me, but I am excited for it. I do feel like sometimes, you know, obviously depending on the kind of person that you are, but having a little bit of pressure could also be a good thing because it could be like that driving force of like, yes, because you something like, do you feel like, I mean, I feel like you have to be like, if you're like, you know, in this sport, in this business that you're going to have, like, you're going to be able to thrive under pressure. Right. Yeah, exactly. You know, you have a whole arena of people watching, like for this arena, uh, First Bank Center, it's sold out. So you have the whole arena sold out. You have a whole arena of people watching. You have thousands and thousands and thousands of people, millions of people that are watching Amazon Prime Video, different different ways looking at it. So you have a whole lot of people looking at it. And uh, I mean, it's it's something that I enjoy doing. So it's fun for me. Let's talk about your opponent then, um, uh, Ahmed. He is someone that, you know, he's ready to go. He's been training with Khabib. He's been, you know, you guys have a pretty similar record. Uh, talk to me about your uh, your thoughts, your your opinions on him and, and how you feel. Do you feel like you, like, where do you feel in terms of, uh, do you feel like you're on the same level? Do you feel like you're on a different level? Like, how, how do you feel about that? Well, all I can say is I've been training very hard, training very hard. I've been making sure that I'm sharp in all the aspects of my game. So obviously I take into account and look at him. Uh, he fights for one championship. He's had his last two fights, he had finishes. So I'm definitely looking at those. Um, but at the same time, I'm, I'm not discounting myself because I'm very excited to come back. Obviously my first fight with one wasn't what I expected, what I, what I was planning to do. But uh, I'm, I'm super, uh, 
super dialed in for this fight and uh, trying to make sure I'm ready in all ways, which I will be. How much more does this mean to you in terms of getting this victory? How much more does this victory mean to you than even some of your past wins, uh, you know, earlier on in your career? I think the biggest thing is I came into one championship. I'm signed with one. My first fight didn't go as planned. It was a very large weight class. I fought up at 185 pounds. If you look back, UFC, it was 155. And then I went up to 170, my last fight in UFC. So 185, that's huge. Um, obviously, that was a mistake. Too big of a weight class. And uh, it was a learning experience. So uh, for me, I think the biggest thing is I want to make one happy with who they signed. You know, I want to have a great, successful career for their organization also. Man, I love that. That's the way to look at it. And that's the thing, too, is with you, you know, being with one championship and getting to kind of, you know, be your be a big name for the promotion and get them to really get, you know, to continue growing. And you're on such a big platform with Amazon Prime, which is such a huge opportunity. So with that being said, uh, short and long term goals, like are you kind of just basing things more off of like what happens after this fight? Or do you kind of already have a vision of where you want to be by the end of this year and also within the next, you know, by the time that, you know, you're third? like what is the vision for you yeah so one of my short-term goals obviously is to go out there perform great i like to have a finish in this fight and uh the fight's right around the corner less than three weeks away so that's that's right here less than a month away um long-term goals uh i would say i want to be very active for one championship i'm obviously very focused on this fight i'm not really looking forward or not looking at what's going to be next immediately or the thing after that because I'm so zoned in on this fight. But after this fight, I would love to be very active for one championship. Nice, man. I can't wait to see all of that stuff. Seriously. Um, last question. What do you want your fans to know about you right now going into this fight or where you're at right now? What do you want? What message do you want to send out to your fans? I want to say thank you for all the fans that have still been tuning in and uh, waiting for my comeback. Everybody that's, not a fan, obviously. I would like to make you a fan of, of getting to watch my performances because I want to go out there and put on a great show for you. Um, I really want to be uh, one of the top, top uh, performing athletes out there for one championship. And, you know, I've been putting in a lot, of, a lot of hard work and I'm still young. So I think I have a great career ahead of me. And thank you for tuning in. Hell yeah, man. Hell yep. yeah. So for those of you guys who want to watch the show, you guys want to watch One Fight Night 10, it is going to be streaming live on Friday, May 5th, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Amazon Prime Video. I am going to go ahead and post the links in the description box below. But Sage, man, thank you so much for coming on here and chatting with me. And I cannot wait to watch your fight. Seriously. Um, last but not least, let the people know where they can follow you, show you some love and some support. Oh yeah, definitely. So my Instagram is Super Sage Northcut, and then my Facebook and Twitter is just Sage Northcut. But yeah, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram. I'm on that more often than my other uh, social media platforms. But uh, yeah, this fight will be on Amazon Prime Video, like you said, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 5 p.m. Pacific, Friday on Cinco de Mayo. So it's gonna be good. It is gonna be good. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll catch you on the next vid. Awesome, thanks.